from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. While he was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nazareth, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment. With the people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. And indeed, something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nazareth will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repeated at the proclamation of Jonah. And indeed, something greater and Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar or under a bushel basket. Rather, no one puts it on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is unhealthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. But if your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel, to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. In peace let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to our God, God have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer through here their worship and praise, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us Pray to our God, God have mercy. For all who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, And for those who are in captivity, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For our deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all those living with any kind of mental illness, let us pray to our God. 
God have mercy. For the lonely, the hungry, the abused, and the homeless, let us pray to our God. God have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of Saint Elizabeth. And with all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you. Through Christ our God, to you, O God. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.